Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought that today, again, I will do another Outfits of the Week video for you guys, you know, just for some winter outfit inspiration, why not? So I thought that I would share with you guys what I'm wearing. Today is Monday. Pretty much this whole week I have nothing to do, nowhere to go. Nobody's any different than me, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, um, working from home as usual. I'm not gonna lie, I've been quite lazy with changing out of my pajamas for the past two weeks. So I haven't done one of these videos for a while. Um, but you know, I actually really like doing these videos because like, it's more casual, you know, I could show a little bit more of uh, you know myself in the videos so yeah um, I did move my mirror from my office to the living room temporarily it's actually sitting right by my um, door for balcony so definitely not staying here permanently and this thing is very heavy um, if you're curious where this mirror is from I will link it down below if it's still in stock it's from West Elm um, I love it. It's beautiful, but it's very heavy and I don't actually have a place to put it in my living room That would have a nice background like that. So yeah, I just temporarily moved it here um, I've got some uh, fun DIYs going in my office. Anyway, enough rambling um, Let's get to the outfit of the day um, So this is what I'm wearing today um, again very comfortable again. I'm not going anywhere so this black top here it's like a button front cardigan. Um, this one's from Zara. I actually really like this. I want to get it in a few different colors if they still have it in stock. I definitely recommend it if you've seen it on their website and you're interested in it, definitely try it out. Um, it's super comfortable. It is cropped, so it'll be, you know, pretty useful hopefully for spring as well. But yeah, it's a very light cardigan. I'm not sure if I've shown it in like an Outfits of the Week video yet, but I love it. It's really nice. Um, and then my pants, these I've shown to you guys before, I think in my previous what I wore this week. These ones are like a khaki style, I would say cargo pants from Aritzia. I got these last spring. So, oh, my nose is itchy. My, my curtain bangs always touch my nose when it gets itchy. Anyway, off topic, <laughs> as I was saying. So yeah, these pants are also really comfortable. They're, you know, like a really, Casual pair of pants, very stretchy, so definitely recommend it. Um, I did get these last spring, so I will try to link these down below for you guys. If I can't find it, of course, I will link something similar, as always. But yeah, this is my outfit. Oh, and of course, these are Sorel's. It's super soft. I think it kind of goes for like a classic, you know, working from home or doing nothing at home, whatever you've been doing with your life these days. Look, and I'm not wearing jewelry. I never wear jewelry when I'm at home other than my Apple Watch just because honestly, my dog loves to grab them. So we don't like that. We don't wear jewelry when we're at home. And yeah, I thought I would mention my hair. I've been lately doing it um, the way I showed you guys in my Dyson Airwrap video, um, the tutorial I did a while back. If you haven't watched that, I'll link it somewhere. But yeah, I've been loving it doing it that way. I've just been like lately just brushing out each curl that I do with like a wide tooth, um, What's it called? Wide tooth comb brush? <laughs> I've just been brushing out the curl once I do it and it kind of gives like a more um, loose curl. And I did cut my hair recently. I gave myself some nice curtain bangs. And yeah, I love it. I think it's, it suits me. But yeah, this is the whole look. And this is the dog's outfit. Do you care to share your outfit? Do you care to come here? No, not really. Well then. Okay, so I'm actually gonna make some lunch slash snack kind of thing. I might actually have like proper lunch later. I'm just not feeling that hungry today. So we're just gonna make a snack for now. I'm just gonna set you guys right here. Okay, so I've set you guys up. Hopefully you could see somewhat okay. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to eat my celery whenever I have celery. Obviously, I've got a bunch of celery here cut up and I'm gonna make a little sauce for it. This might be really weird for some people, but Maybe you'll enjoy it. If you try it, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I like to grab some soy sauce. That's step one. And sesame oil. And then we need some almond butter. That's peanut butter. We grab almond butter. It works better, trust me. And then last but not least, I grab as much as I want of my almond butter, which has apparently solidified to the point to bend my spoon. 
Does anybody else's almond butters do this when it says that you have to refrigerate it and then it becomes a solid cake? Like what? And then I like to add some garlic powder. I put this much almond butter, you know, about two tablespoons. And put some garlic powder, as much as you like. One and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. And then I would say around a teaspoon of sesame oil. Need to heat up some water because if your almond butter looks like mine and it's solidified fully, you need to kind of soften it. So I'm going to soften it with a little bit of water, just kind of make it a little bit more liquid. Um, but if you have, you know, almond butter that doesn't do this, don't need the water. Just mix it up. And that's what it looks like. It looks really unappetizing, but trust me, it's so good. Try it, let me know, it's yummy. I'm just gonna go eat this, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello, hello. Today is, what day is it? Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, this is the outfit for today. I'm actually not really going anywhere businessy or professional, just uh, going to run some errands, but I have not worn these pants in actually quite some time and they're actually quite comfortable. It's negative 23 degrees today. There's a low of negative 31. I think it feels like negative 35 with wind chill. So yeah, we're layering up today and I'm gonna show you how. Girl doing a big stretch over there. <laughs> um, it's quite cold today and I have layered up really well. This is a sweater by Aritzia. I got this last year. I actually I think I also showed this sweater in my previous one I wore this week um, in purple. This is the gray one. It's a 100% cashmere sweater. I love it so much um, and I always talk about this in my videos. A little tip if you want your turtlenecks to look a little bit more sleek. What you can do is to roll it inwards and that will kind of prevent having additional lines. And these pants, these are the Power Pants by Aritzia. I have them in like the green shade. These are also one of my favorite pair of trousers that I own. Um, it's super comfortable. And the shoes, I think I also talked about these shoes in my previous what I wore this week. But these are from Zara. They have a similar model this year, so I will link something similar down below. But yeah, I'm just running some errands. I do not need to wear dress pants. I just felt like it. Now, how have I layered this outfit? Other than obviously I'm gonna wear my giant puffer um, on top of this, I actually am wearing a layer underneath my sweater. This is a Uniqlo Heat Tech long sleeve t-shirt. I recommend them 200%. They're super useful, very cozy, and it just, it helps you stay a little bit more warm than you would just kind of wearing the sweater. Um, the other layer, now these pants are really good again, like I said, for layering. Um, I think a lot of people in other countries will make fun of me for this, but if you're Canadian, you need these. I am wearing the Uniqlo Heat Tech leggings underneath. They are meant to be layered, they are very sheer. Um, they are literally meant to be worn underneath normal pants. So yeah, definitely recommend them. And these power pants, that's why I love them so much, is you could literally wear thicker and thicker layers underneath. Keep yourself nice and toasty. They do a great job at keeping you warm. And obviously, like I said, I will wear my puffer on top of this. Obviously, it's a negative bajillion degrees out there. So my puffer is the duvet coat by Wilfred. That's the total look. So today is Wednesday, and this is the outfit of the day today. I actually have an appointment that I have to run to, so let's try to change it up a little bit. This is the outfit of the day. So I have never done this before. This is my first time kind of doing this kind of look. Um, I'm kind of liking it. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's nice. Hey girl, what, you want to go sleep in your little bed? What, you want to go in your little house? Sleep in there? This is her little uh, sleeping area, by the way. I don't know if she wants to sleep or she wants to hang out. Anyway, um, as I was saying, this is the first time I'm kind of putting a belt over my cardigan, but let's see how it goes. This is the Rourke cardigan by Aritzia. Um, I've had mine for a decent amount of time. I think this one I got in a size extra small, I want to say, or a small. I will write down below in the description box when I link it. The t-shirt I'm wearing underneath, this is a long sleeve t-shirt by H&M. I got it ages ago. It's really affordable. And the belt, um, the belt is also from Aritzia. And my jeans, 
jeans. These jeans are from Zara. Um, they're like a straight leg um, crop style jeans, but they're almost full length on me because I'm only 5'3", so not surprising. Hey girl, we've got a sleepy little girl at the back who's got a ball in her mouth. Yeah, so these pants, they're quite old, so I'll definitely have to link something similar down below. And the shoes are the same as yesterday. These are the Zara boots that I always, always wear. Had it for three years, obsessed with it. They're the best. But yeah, this is the whole look for today. You know, very casual, just run into an appointment. So nothing too fancy, right girl? Are you having a good day? Are you? Hello. Oh, okay, you're gonna sleep like that? Okay then. What is that, like a pacifier, my bug? <laughs> yeah, okay, you, you have a good day, bug. Okay, I'll be back. Hi everyone, today is Thursday, so almost the week is over. That's a big nap. And there's a blip on the mirror that just happened right now. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is the look for today. As I was saying, nothing to do today. I'm at home all day long. Um, I am wearing the same pair of jeans as yesterday. These are actually like one of my most comfortable jeans that I have, these Zara ones. So yeah, I actually wear these quite a bit. They're super comfortable. Um, yeah. They're just, you know, simple at home appropriate pair of jeans if that's a thing. And this top is from Mott & Bow. It's like a cottony long sleeve t-shirt. Um, it is ripped. Excuse me, dog, you're kind of in the way. Okay, we'll just uh, <laughs> go around you there. Um, it is ribbed. I don't know if you can tell. On camera it is black, so it's pretty hard to see. But yeah, it's got actually a pretty nice quality. It's really comfortable. So yeah, really appropriate for work from home and the same Sorel slippers that I always talk about. You know, that's the look for the day. We're not doing anything. Kind of like her. So yeah, <laughs> but I did want to show you guys a few things that I have been buying lately that is not clothing, just home stuff. So I made myself some tea and these are um, from CB2. These are borosilicate teacups that they have. They also have like an espresso version of these that is smaller. Um, I love these, they're super beautiful. I have like a huge obsession with borosilicate anything, so Definitely, definitely in love with those. But I also bought these guys. These, um, I think it would be considered like a highball glass. These are not borosilicate, these are just a uh, normal glass. But they've got like a tapered style to them. I think it's super cute. Um, I thought these would be really good for summer, just kind of having some nice cold drinks, alcoholic or not. Um, so yeah, they're super useful. I didn't have anything like this before, so I thought it was, you know, really elegant and minimal. And they weren't actually too expensive, but anytime I get something from CB2, it takes forever to ship. Hi guys, so today is Saturday. I did not film my outfit yesterday, so there was no outfit shot for Friday. Um, and the reason for that, I'll Get into that in a bit. So this is the outfit for a fine Saturday at home doing nothing. So you could probably see there's a few changes in the house. I got gifted some pampas grass that I really wanted from my boyfriend for Valentine's Day. So yeah, I set those in the corner. Um, they're in a little H&M vase. Actually, I'll show you guys. I put the pampas grass in this H&M vase. Um, honestly, I'm not sure if it'll be in stock anymore because obviously it's H&M and stock is all over the place, but it's still a little bit too short. Um, my setup, so I had to basically like DIY, well not really DIY, but kind of make like a makeshift table until I find like a little stand for this corner. But right now I just have a vase <laughs> sitting on a box. I think it just makes the living room look super cool, but yeah. Just loving it. I've been really into just kind of redecorating my house and making it a really good place to be. Here's the outfit for today, as I was saying. Um, this little, um, I don't know what it would be called. More like a, it's like a, some sort of like athletic crop top, long sleeve t-shirt hoodie without a hood. Not sure what it's called. 
and I can't think. <laughs> um, anyway, this is from Aritzia. This is actually really nice. I think it's from their TNA range. I've had this one for a while. It's like, a, I think, a really nice at home appropriate top slash appropriate for, you know, workouts if that's what you're doing these days. That's really good too. Um, and my sweatpants, these are actually pretty affordable. These are from H&M. Can't promise anything from H&M will be in stock, but um, I got these a couple months back and I'm actually quite in love with them. They are a little bit oversized. I think I got them one size bigger. I think it's like a medium I got, but uh, it's quite roomy, <laughs> um, so super comfortable. And my, you know, usual Sorrels that you're probably bored of seeing, but not gonna lie, this is what I've been wearing. This is how we do quarantine. Anyway, so. So yesterday there was uh, no outfit video from me because yesterday, was Friday and I had a doctor's appointment and I got ready and I was like, I'll show you guys my outfit after I come back from my appointment. But uh, well, my whole mood was ruined once I came back from my appointment. I waited six months to see a doctor. Anytime you wanna see a specialist, it takes a long time to see someone. And I waited six months to see this doctor and she was the worst doctor experience I have ever had. I've had a lot of bad experiences with doctors in Canada, I'm not gonna lie, but she she beat all of them. She was that bad. Um, she was so uneducated, she was so rude. She spent three minutes maybe talking to me, if that. She did no testing, she did not ask for further testing for anything, she just kind of didn't care. She just basically didn't know anything. And that's not even the worst part. When I had questions for her, she printed articles from pages less respectable than WebMD and gave it to me. Literally, like if she printed WebMD articles, I'd still be pissed because imagine going to the doctor and they just print WebMD for you. But uh, not even WebMD, nothing like WebMD. She basically printed these articles from really sketchy websites. And yeah, she denied answering any questions. She denied talking. She basically printed a bunch of crap and gave it to me. So I don't know if this has ever happened to anybody. I got really angry after I left her office because I just felt like not only did I waste my time obviously seeing her and it was a really far drive from where I live. I wasted such a long time waiting to see her. I could have just printed articles from WebMD. Don't get me wrong, I Google stuff too. Whenever I have something wrong, I'm. it's really bad, I Google. Research papers are reputable. WebMD is not horrible. If she, if she printed articles from WebMD, I would probably be less pissed than I am right now. I feel like she has just embarrassed the entire medical community of Alberta. Anyway, so I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like these casual vlogs. Just chit chats and sharing with you guys random things I buy um, and outfits. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna now go and probably prep some food. We'll see. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.